Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Xbox One. This is it, Xbox One. Xbox on. And it's that simple. Xbox One instantly recognizes me and gets me to my own personal home screen. No more manual login, no more waiting on system or game updates. Now the home screen, as you can see, has a familiar interface. But let me point out for you a couple of unique differences. First of all, it'll remember what I was last doing. So for example, here in the center of the screen, you can see I was playing one of my favorite racing games. This one here is just one of the new amazing Xbox One exclusives you're about to hear a lot more about. You can also see I was listening to some music by Dead Mouse and watching a movie. Now, like many of you, I also discover new entertainment based on what my friends like. And for that, we create a new area called Trending. Here I get a snapshot of what uh, is popular in the entertainment world, both with my friends and with the entire Xbox Live community. Of course, I can still browse the great content I've come to love on Xbox, such as games, TV and movies, and music. Xbox, go home. Now that you've seen the start screen and home experience, let's do what millions of people do every day when they turn on their TV. Guess what? They watch TV. It sounds simple and obvious, and it should be, but today it isn't because of the need to change inputs to get to live TV. All that is going to change with Xbox One. Let me show you. Xbox, watch TV. And with that simple command, I'm watching live TV. Now here in Seattle, I'm a Comcast subscriber, so this is the programming available in my area. But hold on, let me show you how we're gonna take live TV and make it not only integral to the Xbox, but also incredibly useful through a great new feature called instant switching. Xbox, game. Go to TV. Go to music, watch TV. Yes, that fast. Did you see how instant that was? Come on, it was, so, it was so good. Let's see it again. Let's see it again. Go to Internet Explorer. Oh, nice. Watch TV. Watch movie. Switching between live TV and all. Here's an example of how I can get easily back to my home screen from anywhere in the system. I simply spread my hands, grab the screen, and I'm back home. And if I want to get back to my movie, I grab, and I'm back to the movie. And again, this is not only now simple, but it makes it instant to get what you want. Now, have you ever wanted to do more than one thing at a time when you're watching TV? Of course you have. On Xbox One, the ability to do multiple things at once on your TV is now a reality. Introducing Snap Mode for the Xbox. Xbox, Snap Internet Explorer. With Snap Mode, I can run multiple programs alongside one another and easily interact between them without having to shut one down and start up another. 
Xbox, favorites. Star Trek. Okay, so right now I'm watching Star Trek, and I've heard great things about the sequel, Star Trek Into Darkness. So now I can use Internet Explorer and my cell phone as a remote control, for example, to watch a trailer, and I can even navigate to find movie times and buy tickets. And again, at any given time now, if I want to go home, I just grab, and I'm home. All right. Now I'd like to introduce for you another amazing thing you can do on your Xbox, Skype. Skype on Xbox One connects you to family and friends in ways you aren't going to find on other TVs. Not only will you get Skype experiences in widescreen HD with the best living room camera available, but only on Xbox will you be able to do group video calls on your TV. Let's take a look at Skype in snap mode. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my movie and zoom back to it. And to help you show it off, I've asked my friend DJ, one of the members on our sports team, to call in and help me demonstrate. And right on cue, DJ calls in. Xbox, answer call. Hey, DJ, thank you for calling in to help me show off Skype in snap mode. Looks like you're working pretty hard out there. Hey, Yusuf, thanks for having me. I'm happy to do it. You know, it looks like you're doing okay yourself. <laughs> I'm looking forward to you showing off the great work we're doing with our partners at ESPN. Well, as a matter of fact, that's what's coming up next. So why don't you sit back and enjoy it? That's great. Just make sure when you get to fantasy, you show the real version. You know, the one where I'm in first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skype in call. Let me go ahead, though, and show you that Xbox uh, sports offering that DJ was talking about. Xbox, watch ESPN. All right, let me set up the scene here. Imagine I'm at home watching an NBA game during the regular season, but if you're like me, I like to keep up with my fantasy team. Now what I can do, though, is instead of having to pull out necessarily a separate device, when my player scores here like LeBron, I automatically get an alert that just pops up on the TV, and I can say, Xbox, show fantasy. And now I get my fantasy players right alongside. Really one of my favorites here, and that stats update live. But in addition, I can go ahead and check out league standings. And you can see, here's why I passed the DJ with that score from LeBron. Always good when you're doing the demo. And in addition, I can go ahead here and I have a nice thing called featured highlights. So I can see clips of my favorite players when they've done things, even if I'm not there. So let me throw this one to the full screen. Here's my center, Tyson Chandler. And here's how he helps me dominate the fantasy league with plays like that. Always very nice. All right, now what you're seeing though is just one example of what we can do with live TV. But can you imagine what we could do with the Super Bowl or the Golden Globes or even with political debates with this ability to have interactive TV? All right, finally, let's tackle what I think is the biggest challenge with watching TV. Anybody? For me, it's finding what to watch and keeping up with it. Introducing the Xbox One guide. Xbox, show the guide. Now you can find, discover, and watch TV in three powerful new ways. Voice control, search, and navigation, favorites, and trending. With the Xbox One guide, I see all my local TV listings right through my Xbox. And I can use my voice to check out what's on. Xbox, Today Show. Watch Sci-Fi Channel. Watch MTV. What's on HBO? Pretty cool, huh? Let's see that again. Mary and Martha. Watch CBS. Show the guide. See how easy that is? No more memorizing channels or hunting for remote control. The next thing I want to show you is how I stay on top of all of the series that I love to follow. Xbox favorites. The favorites area is an easy way to keep up with all the TV shows that I like to watch. All I have to do is pin the content in one convenient place. It's a lot like having my own personal channel. And finally, there's one of the areas I like the most, Xbox Trending. Trending gives me a glance at what everyone in the Xbox Live community is watching. I like how current it is. It's up to the minute. From here, I can instantly jump into the most popular shows. But Trending isn't just for live TV. There's also a section for video on demand so I can see what people are liking no matter what time zone it's in. Xbox, go home. So there you have it. 
The all-in-one system where it all comes together. Games, movies, music, web, and now Skype and live TV. The one place where you are now at the center of your entertainment, the one place where it's simple and instant to connect with your friends. This is the beginning of a new generation of games and entertainment. This is the beginning of truly intelligent TV.